Welcome to my video. I'm Erica and I own Cornflower Lane. I make handmade journals and journaling kits and today I'm finally back with another video and I'm going to show you how I make my patchwork journal cards. I add these to my kits and to my journals and I also use them in my own journal as well. So first of all I use um, an old book page or a, I've used tea dyed paper or some thin scrapbook paper as the backing and then I use a one inch square punch to punch out lots of squares out of different scrapbook paper. If I'm doing this for to put in one of my journals I tend to use the scrapbook paper that matches the papers that I've been using in the journal. So I'm laying them all out in a pattern, not any particular pattern, I just try and spread them out so there's not too many the same near each other. And then I will glue them down very lightly onto the book page that I've got here. So here I'm just trimming off the edges of the book page with my paper trimmer and these um, journal cards are 4 by 6 inches and I also do smaller 3 by 4 inch ones as well. So here I'm putting on some washi tape around the edge. Again trying to make it look like a patchwork quilt so this would be the binding and I just choose a matching colour washi and this is where my perfectionism is a bit of a pain because <laughs> I do take quite a while lining everything up so I just go round do that on all four sides and then I'll show you the final step So this is the final part and it's the sewing part. So I'm just doing a zigzag stitch here um, across each of the joins, so where all the inch squares join. Just zigzag across and this is why I don't use too much glue because the stitching will hold it all together. So once I've gone up and down all these joins, I'll show you what I do next. So here I'm just finishing them off and I just do a zigzag stitch all around the edge on top of the washi tape and that's them all done. So I'd love it if you'd have a go at making some of these. Um, let me know in the comments if you do. So if you haven't got a sewing machine you could perhaps hand stitch them or even just use washi tape. So if you've got some narrower washi tape you could perhaps put it down um, the joins but if you do that just glue the squares down a bit more so they don't come unstuck. Thanks so much for watching my video I'm hoping to do some more studio vlogs so if you'd like to watch those I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, bye!